Welcome cuties, let's create! Hello everyone, today we're going to be drawing a new character from my book, My Seven Deadly Friends. And of course, I always start with the head, and something that I noticed while I was editing is apparently I take way too dang long on the head. I want to get that circle perfect, which is weird because half of it's going to be erased anyway. I only need the chin line. Like, in all honesty, like why? And I like, I don't know, I'm just like, I gotta erase these like weird marks and this has to be perfect. I don't know why. It is what it is. It's how my brain works. I can't explain it, okay? So I decided that I am gonna go in rainbow order. So I last drew um, Rachel. Of course, first of all, I had to draw the main character, Elizabeth, and then Rachel. So, um, Rachel was red and Gloria is orange. And why they all are the way they are is because when I was researching, um, about Seven Deadly Sins, there's actually a color associated with each of the sins. And that's why their color is the way they are orange is gluttony and i don't know if i said this before but the first letter of their name is also the first letter of the sin so gluttony gloria i'm not gonna lie it was kind of hard to come up with these names like but oh well <laughs> and so anyway i'm drawing gloria something to know about gloria is she loves to eat and she is very nice. Um, something that I wish I could do now that I know and kind of, I, I just love my characters. I love kind of this world that I created in my mind. And I feel like if I could do something different, I would write more detail. Um, and kind of just explain more and kind of give more um, I would just give more in my book because I don't feel like I give them justice enough of really who they are and because I was more focused on the main character instead of them but I feel like that's probably something I would have done differently but I still love my book I, I still yes I'm going to leave a link in the description to my book, and I think I do every week anyway, so um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it in paperback, and um, an ebook. you can get it on a Kindle. So anyway, back to Gloria. So she is very, very sweet, and she's so nice, and she's also a little self-conscious, and so um, just kind of, you know, like... I don't care that I eat because obviously I want to eat and I have no shame in eating but she's just like self-conscious it's just she's not well not self-conscious I would just say not as confident is that the same thing I don't know but she's just not as confident as her friends and her peers so that's just how it is she's not as confident so um she is also very rounded so what I mean by that is like right now I'm giving her bangs and I just I pictured just everything being very round so even like her hair is very round and kind of just like these big old waves and just kind of fall out of her shoulders so you'll see that in just a second when I draw her um, her hair um, so I really like Gloria. She also later owns a bakery, and which is odd because you kind of go, hmm, how would that work? Because <laughs> she eats everything, right? She's like eating the batter as she's making these things, and she will eat, you know, what she sells. And so, how she stays in business, I don't know, um, but she magically does because you know they're powerful people. So maybe that's why. They just can. They have money. Well, Ace has money. Anyway, that's for the next video. Um, so something that I also learned is that each sin kind of has a backstory to why it is the way it is. 
and so they kind of make sense so um for gluttony what it is of where it derives from is people who didn't get enough nourishment when they were younger and so even when they were newborns like their mothers just didn't give them enough enough nourishment and didn't feed them well enough and so now they just have like that's kind of where it comes from is they just feel like they don't have enough and so they constantly need to be eating and just you know they need to take advantage of the food that they can get a, a hold of and so that's where it comes from and so I kind of feel like that suits her and I think that also kind of goes into why she is a little self-conscious and maybe not as confident because you know her parents didn't really give her enough attention and just didn't you know she she has the saddest in my opinion one of the saddest backstories to um, these friends and that's something I didn't do that I wish I could have done and maybe I'll make another book leave a comment give a like if you'd like me to do another book and um kind of where it all started because I've kind of been thinking about it but I'm like mm, should I should I not mm, I don't know I'll be like everybody else I'll go backwards <laughs> Because I always thought, I was like, it's always weird that movies do that. Like, they should have started this over. Like, okay, Little Mermaid, for example. Like, yes, the first one, second one, it's in order. But then they had the one of, like, where it all began. And it's like, shouldn't you have done this first? But it's like, I don't know, you just don't think about these things till later. So, for me, that's what it's like. It's kind of like, oh, I should have done that. Oops, too late. We're doing this backwards. <laughs> so now I understand why that it is the way it is so I don't know I'm kind of thinking about it but I don't know if I should and I don't know so like I said leave a comment give a like if you would like to see me um, write kind of where they came from who they are their backstories instead of just focusing on Elizabeth because like I said that's what I was focusing on the main character and so I can kind of focus more on these friends and who they are where they came from their backstories because like I said like that's kind of what I pictured for Gloria is kind of having this really sad neglected childhood and she's just like oh my gosh, I didn't get enough. And she doesn't really obviously think about that because it's it was so long ago and it's just something that it's like made in her brain, you know? That she's like, I just, I want food and I can't get enough of it. And so, but that's where it comes from. She may not remember that, you know, she wasn't fed very well as a baby, but... Yeah, so that's where it comes from. And I just have to give a shout out to those hands because, oh my gosh, I was so proud. I, oh my, yeah, I feel really proud of those hands <laughs> because I feel like they're so cute and they turn out so good. Well, not cute. I guess they're cute. I don't know. But they just turn out so good and I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't get over it. I was like, oh. These hands are amazing! So, Gloria's adorable. I love her. I just, she's got a soft spot in my, uh, in my heart. Because, you know, when you create these characters and you create these stories in your head, you know, you're just kind of like, I got a little soft spot for her, you know? Yes. Some more than others, you know? You're just like, mm, ace, mm, yeah, whatever. He's, he's going to be in the next one that I'm going to do is Ace, so get prepared for that because he's yellow, or I, technically gold, but yellow, gold. So, yeah, this is Gloria. She's adorable. I love her. I love all my characters. I think they're cute. So, I decided because, so with her eyes, kind of a side note. With her eyes, like, I left a little white part, and I was like, it's just looking weird. And it looks weird because they have unnatural eye colors. And so, 
Yeah, I tried to go in later with a gel pen, but it was just not working. And so I tried. The other thing that I have to know is I had a difficult time with this shirt. I could not get it like, I feel like everything is looking so good. She's like, ooh, that skin is like very well shaded and her hair. And then I get to her shirt and like, it just looks patchy and it looks like, blah. I do not like how the shirt turned out. Like, I think it's cute. But, like, the color isn't, like, this flat, beautiful color. And so, I'm kind of sad, because I'm like, oh. It's so, like... I don't know. I just don't like it. But I like her. I like everything else. Just not the coloring of the shirt. Look at that. She's just so cute. And especially... I am going to try and open an Etsy shop that's going to have stickers and prints for now and then I kind of want to upgrade to maybe doing like buttons. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it, but like the button pins kind of thing. And um, but I did Gloria and she looks so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. So yeah, I tried to salvage the coloring as much as I could by using white pencil. It kind of softened all those harsh um, coloring lines, but I don't know. It was a struggle. I struggled, so enjoy the struggle. That should be my theme. Enjoy the struggle. That's, I feel like I struggle at least a little bit in every video. Turns out fine, but <laughs> yeah, enjoy.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.